Welcome back. Today we will look at CLIL or Content and Language Integrated Learning, where curriculum topics are integrated with the teaching of a new language. This makes the teaching of the language more dynamic for students. During our survey of educators, it became clear that while more and more teachers implement CLIL, it could be exploited more. Language barriers have been clearly identified as one of the main challenges for teachers trying to integrate migrant students. That's why CLIL has been established as a very useful tool to help integrate migrant students. So let's have a look at the next three projects that use language as an essential tool in creating an inclusive and dynamic learning environment. Let's learn from Integra, which develops special learning scenarios to increase students' second language skills through STEM-related activities by using the CLIL approach. The name of our project is uh, Integra. Integra is, is in fact a project that applies integrated learning concepts and strategies. The, the ultimate objective of this project is to accelerate the integration of migrant learners. That is, migrant learners who, for their first stages of their education, are having their education in one of our specifically set up induction centers. That is, before they are then moved to, to mainstream education, to mainstream schooling. Our focus was um, STEM skills and, and knowledge science, mathematics, etc. The idea was to produce a set of um, learning scenarios, a sample of learning scenarios that use the concept of uh, CLIL, Content and Language Integrated Learning. So we had teachers, um, they were assisted by science and, and English educators, and together they developed 12 uh, learning scenarios, each lesson tackling at least one language aspect as well as uh, some science content. And in the end, these 12 lesson scenarios, learning scenarios, were compiled into one booklet. And this booklet with these lesson plans and worksheets and lists of resources required were disseminated to educators. Working on this project was a huge learning experience. Um, personally, um, I found it, very, found it very satisfying to work in a closer connection with a school that caters for, for migrant learners. Actually, they were, they were telling us how they were seeing that students were, were actually benefiting both from the language learning outcomes and the science learning outcomes during, during the same lessons. And actually students were enjoying having English lessons where the content was was science-based. As I said earlier, talking about animals, tackling topics like earth and space, including also some culture. So if they were talking about the science, um, scientific aspect of food, then they ended up talking a little bit about different foods in different countries, etc., cetera, et cetera, and obviously introducing some uh, cultural aspects uh, about Malta, some local cultural aspects. Now we want to see more students benefiting from this. And, and one thing we would like is to see these learning scenarios being used even in mainstream schools, because even in mainstream schools, we do have um, students who would benefit from, from this kind of approach. Now it's time for STEAM Our Common Language, which created guidelines on how to create the necessary conditions to improve inclusion and give students an opportunity for socialization. Our main goal was to favor social integration of Ukrainian children from our region, from Vulcha County, Romania. The main objective of this project was to favor this social integration through STEAM education uh, workshops and outdoor camps. Uh, regarding the activities, we had uh, 16 workshops on uh, STEAM education and uh, we worked with uh, Spike uh, Essential Kids. The Lego yellow boxes, majority of them uh, succeeded to complete all the 16 uh, workshops. I think uh, these Lego activities uh, helped us to integrate them as uh, we were playing. Another activity that uh, was closing ceremony, let's say, of the project uh, was the outdoor camp. We um, invited them to an orienteering competition. Uh, orienteering is a sport with a map and a compass. We studied the compass in a scientific way 
and uh, we studied first uh, how can we uh, uh, draw maps and what's the difference between uh, hard copy maps and the digital ones and then we have the sports competition uh, with orienteering and we consider this project a very good opportunity for them to learn sciences and to socialize and integrate in uh, our town and in our country. I saw an evolution uh, on uh, these kids. We started in March and I remember we built an electric car learning them that uh, energy, what is energy and uh, where energy comes from and things like that. And when they built the electric car, they uh, did the one from the building instructions. But one kid built a house on wheels uh, for children that were uh, running away from the war. It was very, very touching. We try not to ask them a lot about the war, but they all the time they wanted to express themselves and they wanted to tell us more, but maybe we were not asking about how do they feel about the war. And building with Lego helped them in a way to express themselves uh, easier just uh, building and uh, showing us uh, that uh, house car that helps children to go away from Ukraine. At the end of the project, these uh, sad stories, let's say from the beginning, transformed in happiness. They were very happy to be together. They started to have uh, their little community here. The outdoor camp was the proof that they started to trust us as uh, the parents were very, very uh, happy to send the kids along with us in the outdoor camp. Finally, let's hear from how to translate school text into my language, which developed video guidelines and booklets that aim to facilitate the integration of students into new educational environments. Our project is how to translate school text into my language for foreign uh, students or foreign uh, families. Our main idea was to facilitate the integration of all those new families, all uh, new students that come to their new educational environment with a welcome school message. We want to transmit to the families and to the students that we are happy in the school, in the, that school community, we are re ready to help the student and the families to show that they are not going to be alone. So don't worry, welcome to our school and you will not be alone. We will provide you with several resources. First of all, this welcome message in video and in paper, in leaflets, we uh, have translated already to 11 different languages. And a second set of, uh, a second collection of videos differentiated in uh, videos for primary schools and videos for secondary students. We will show in a very simple way how to translate all the digital school materials to, the, to those students and to those families. The schools should take the video and the leaflets and put it on the, their own web page. If any school here in the front page has an icon, the flags and the languages, click here, welcome. In the, in the language you are going to use Arabic. Okay, I, I click the Chinese. So the video will explain in Chinese the reception messages with the four main ideas and the second video will, will explain how to translate. We hope that those videos and those booklets will uh, help very much in that uh, first step of reception of the families, just showing the video, showing the leaflets, welcoming them and helping them uh, to translate. So we hope that the impact will be 
a wide, a big and deep impact. And later, the own school, the own teachers will uh, go on working uh, more deeply depending on the school uh, own protocol. Thank you and stay tuned for episode 5 where we'll continue sharing more innovative teaching approaches.